Hey guys, hey, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny Rios, for those that don't know me. And today I am... Okay, so today I'm going to be talking about... Okay, seriously though. Basically, I have been keeping a secret for about eight months and I feel like now it's time to really share it with you guys. I'm excited to let you know everything that's been happening this year. I've been keeping it on the DL just because I was scared. <laughs> I just wanted to keep my personal life out of my blog life, which is weird and why I wanted to tell you guys because it's kind of hard keeping like my personal life private and then, you know, because it's like, my personal life is not private. So it was very weird for me not to share this, but I decided to finally let you guys in on everything that's been going on. So if you are ready, stay tuned. Basically, I'm not gonna give like the super small little details because I feel like we'll be here forever. So I'm just gonna do a quick recap of how it all happened and what's been going on since April because this has been going on since April. But let me just say that everyone that was subscribed to my newsletter has been knowing about my boyfriend for a quite some time now. Um, that was kind of one of the very first things I announced. So it was cool just to see like how some people already knew or some people picked up on hints that I would post here and there on Insta stories, but for the most part, I'm shocked to see that everyone literally had no clue. But this makes it even better because now I get to tell you in person what happened and how it all transpired. So let's start with how we met. So this is actually kind of like a crazy story, guys, because we met in April at Coachella. He's actually my friend's friend. And I remember I met him and it was a big group of us. So I, that's like the very first day I met everyone. I met all these friends later that night, which this is like not the official day of Coachella. So it's the day before Coachella. So we were all camping. So we kind of just like went and explored everything. And, you know, we were all dancing and whatnot. And and I was kind of dancing with my friends and then Darren who is now my boyfriend he came and we were dancing and like he kissed me out of nowhere but guys like let me just say like he was not all there like I have to say that because if I don't say that like you won't understand the story fully but he was not all there so anyway he kissed me and I was like oh my god but I kind of just liked him and I don't know why because I didn't really even talk to him a lot before that but anywho, so that happened. And then the next day we all woke up like normal, like nothing really had happened. And you know, we all went into like the premises and stuff and I kind of did want him to say something, but I don't know, I just feel like he was kind of shy and he wasn't talking to me a lot. And then also I didn't want to bring it up because I was like, how awkward if he like either one doesn't remember, two, it just happened and he doesn't even like me. Like it was just a very awkward situation. So I was like, okay, let me just like not bring it up at all and I didn't bring it up at all so basically nothing happened um the next few days I kind of just let it be because I didn't want there to be like drama because I was like if I bring it up and doesn't want anything to do with me like it's gonna be really awkward I don't know I just thought it was like going to be really complicated and obviously it was my first time so I was there to have fun so I was like okay let me just like enjoy the weekend and then if it's like something maybe like something will come about later and so i just remember like here and there we flirted a little bit but it wasn't like anything like where i'm like oh i know for a fact he likes me you know so whatever like fast forward we left coachella um i remember it was really sad because i was saying bye to everyone and he literally just gave me like a hug like a small hug and i was like oh my god like this was just his opportunity to like either say something or I don't know just like tell me how he really feels and he didn't do any of the above so I was just like okay bye so I don't know if you guys remember but I had to go to New York literally like the next day so I flew out of uh, out of you know LA went to New York and it was a really busy like four days so it was really crazy and I didn't have a lot of time but I remember during that time he texted me and I got so excited guys like seriously I was like I was like oh my god maybe he does like me and i think he just said something like hey like it was really nice meeting you you know hope you made it back safely or something basically kind of after that we just kind of started talking and we would just text all day and i began to like call him and i don't know i think it was like a month later or a few weeks later i was like okay 
we have been talking like 24 7 i need to know if there really is something there just because like we didn't really explore anything at coachella so it's just like okay does he actually like me do i really like him and is there something there because i'm not gonna be sitting here texting someone all day like wasting my time if like nothing is gonna come of this so that's when i decided to go to san francisco for the first time and so i kind of spinned it off saying like it was my first time which it really was my first time being in san francisco um but i was saying i was going more on like vacation um but i really went um because he met me there and we kind of like explored the city together um so that's the main reason i went over there was just kind of to figure out like if there was something there and it turns out there was <laughs> oh my god i'm so dumb so basically after that i think i came back to dallas and i went back again i think like a month later and that time um it was kind of like a work trip not really i went with my photographer friend because he really wanted to take a trip and like take really cool shots and i was like well why don't we go to san francisco actually no i think well, he did tell me that was the reason we went, but actually I remember I posted a picture and I was like, oh my God, I want to go back to San Francisco because this bakery that I had there, like they had the best pastries. So I think that sparked the conversation of like, hey, let's go back and like take pics. So then we actually went and it was really fun. Like, so I hung out with my photographer, but we honestly could have gone anywhere in the US and I decided to go back to San Francisco, obviously, because we could drive 40 minutes to San Jose to see Darren. It kind of was like a work slash like personal trip. I just didn't say that and I very much so masked it as a work trip. Right, so then I came back to Dallas and over the summer we met up in Austin for literally like a day and a half and it was really crazy because he actually had to go to Austin for work. I think he was like going to be like in Austin for work for like four days, right? But before that, he wanted to hang out with me. So he took like, I feel like he took like, I think he took like three days off, not including like the work days, obviously, you know, just to like hang out with me and see me and stuff. And I felt so horrible guys, but this was the same time that I had to film that HGTV show. So it was either film the HGTV show or go to Austin and hang out with him. And the worst part is that it was on like his birthday weekend. So I honestly felt horrible because I really wanted to be there. Um, and I actually was gonna turn down the show. You know, I kind of like talked to him and I was like, if you really want me to come down, like I really do wanna be there. But I feel like he was very supportive and he was like, you know, this is like a really cool thing. Like you should totally do it. And then just like meet me up later, which I did. Um, I just felt really horrible and guilty. But I just feel like any other guy would be really upset. So I think like that's just like one of the traits that I really like about him. Like he's very supportive and he like, I feel like he puts people above himself, which makes me want to do that as well and not be so selfish all the time. So anyway, so we saw each other in, in Austin. So that one time I went to Austin over the summer with my best friend Kendra was kind of to see him and we spent, you know, his birthday weekend there. After that, I came back and we kind of didn't see each other for like two months and then he came over Labor Day weekend and that was actually really fun i think that was the first time that we had spent like a lot of time together and we did all the things in dallas like literally we did so much and it was really really fun and that was the trip that he asked me to be his girlfriend and guys this is kind of a big deal for me because i've never been asked like before so this was kind of a pretty big deal to me and let me show you what he got me where is it one sec guys okay here it is ah. okay so i don't know if you guys know but i'm like obsessed with mr pokey and if you don't know what mr pokey well i'll have a picture right here for you guys i'm literally obsessed with this little animal it's like it's so cute and it's little face and it's little like legs are just like poking out all the time oh my god it's adorable like i can't deal and it's like sometimes i want like a pet hedgehog but i'm like i don't know i feel like I feel like I couldn't hug it. Anyway, side story. So I'm like obsessed and like I would always send him the post of this little hedgehog and I'm like, oh my God, how cute. So he bought me this little hedgehog. 
It's a little stuffed animal. I think it's the cutest thing in the world. Like, I'm sorry if I'm lame, but it's so freaking cute. Anyway, okay, so the thing is, like, over the summer, I think he kind of asked me, like, what are we kind of thing. And for me, it was kind of hard. Like, you guys know I haven't dated in a really long time, and, like, it kind of scares me to be in a relationship. This is, like, your, like, make it or break it moment. Like, this person could ruin you. This person could make your life better but i'm really happy with myself and like my life and everything so it's like sometimes i feel like i don't need a guy everyone should be happy within themselves and you know what they're doing but i'm just more of an independent person so it was really scary for me to say like yes i want to be your girlfriend so for a while i was just like i don't know like i think we have to think about like the future like do we want the same things like do you think this could work out blah 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 and Finally, like he asked me and I feel like everything kind of just checked out for me and I was like, okay And he actually like gave me like he was like look what I got you and then he gave it to me It was like a proposal, but like for like being a girlfriend So he gave me the little hedgehog and then he was like, do you want to be my girlfriend? And I was like, yes So it hasn't really been that long since we've dated but Officially, we started dating in August over Labor Day, which was like September 1st or 2nd. So I think one of those, one of, either one of those days is our anniversary. So yeah. And then after that, he came back a month later, I feel like, or maybe like three weeks later um, over September. Was it September? So he came for the fair and so we could go to ACL. And so I went with him to ACL and yeah, we hung out at the fair. And it's like, it's really funny because I don't know, but like, my roommate has a boyfriend now. Um, you know, Sierra, my best friend, is like engaged now. Which she just got engaged, but obviously she had a boyfriend then. I just feel like everyone is like in relationships. So it kind of like works out because we all went to the fair with like our dates. And you guys know my other friend Jennifer like got married. So anyway, I just feel like it's all couples. So it kind of feels weird if you're, well, I'm sure it feels weird for like the other people that aren't coupled up. But like it's fun because I've never experienced like being in a relationship while my other friends are in relationships so it was anyway it was just like really cool so it was fun we all hung out at the fair it was cool we went to acl he came back and he left that's pretty much it that's been kind of just like how it's all happened so i i haven't kept this secret that long even though it does feel long i just feel like for since from april to august it was just kind of like we were talking and i really did like him but i wasn't sure that it was gonna work out and like now i'm very like I feel really good about it and I'm in a good place so I'm just like okay I feel like I can share it now because I hate to be that girl that like shares all this stuff about like a boyfriend or a guy and then it's like three weeks later we like break up or, and then people are wondering and asking so I'm like I don't want to go through that because I just feel like I've gone through that with other people that I follow and I'm like oh my god why did you break up and like I just want to know all the questions so it's like anyway I just don't want to put y'all through that I didn't want to put myself through that so I'm like okay I, I need to be sure that this could possibly work out and I'm honestly like super happy like I think like Darren is like such a nice person and like I don't know I don't know if you guys watched like my video a while back I was talking about my like first boyfriend my first relationship and I don't even know if I talked about that in that specific video but basically like with my first official boyfriend that I ever had literally like Darren is my second boyfriend like official boyfriend like other than that I've dated maybe like two other guys but they we didn't get to a point where we were like dating dating but I just like remember feeling like no one was ever going to like love me again for like who I was if that makes sense like I feel like a lot of people want to date you they try to get to know you like superficially but they don't really get to know you and like know your flaws and your mood swings and just like all the bad things and like still want to date you does that make sense anyway i just didn't think i was gonna find that again i'm like oh that's gonna be like such a struggle and i feel like darren really is like that kind of person i don't know like i just don't even know how to explain it <laughs> give me a sec guys darren's like such a sweet person like seriously he puts others like above himself like i feel like he has so much like integrity in his character and i think everyone that meets him like even my friends are like he's so like he really is such a nice person and so i'm kind of just excited to like share him with you guys now 
kind of wanted to keep him to myself also because i wasn't sure like if he was like fine with like social media and stuff and i don't want to be like in someone's face constantly like I, I i get that it's like part of my life but i don't want someone to feel like it was like necessary for me to do so um like if they dated me you know i feel like if people have boundaries like i'll obviously respect them but i feel like he kind of like enjoys it here and there and he likes it i think he likes it so i'm like okay well i get i feel like i can share it now and it'll be funny to like post things that he says or like things that he makes fun of me for because it's it's a lot guys um but yeah that's basically the story and yeah i kind of just wanted to share it and that's pretty much it i have tons to do guys i just wanted to make sure i got this video out of the way just to keep you in the loop and obviously like more details are to come oh this is what i was gonna say so i am going to meet his family over thanksgiving break so that's that's literally in in six days oh actually let me just like <laughs> quick commercial break um so the sassy um merch finally came in guys and how cute is it this is definitely my favorite it says not available today and there's a sweater i love this like peach color i'm wearing the not available today tee which is also really cute we have the it's a bible verse it says no matter what happens i will live unafraid which is actually really cute like i just i live for sweaters like i'm sorry i wish i really could wear sweaters all day long and it has um whoops the bible verse on the sleeve and then if you don't like the sweatshirt you could get the top which says the same thing and has the bible verse on the sleeve and then last but not least i'm missing one i'm missing the ma the sweatshirt to this shirt so this shirt says you will do great things and the sweatshirt is like a red like bright christmas color and the letters are also white so that's the merch anyway i have to like go shoot that today and all that stuff but you guys are watching this video on a friday which means you have two more three more days to shop because the shop closes out on monday so you only have until the 25th to shop all these items well i'll actually leave a code down in the description that you guys can use to get 10 percent off i'm not sharing that with everyone so make sure you use that code so if you do like these designs make sure to go shop them and they may honestly make really great like gifts yeah that's it okay commercial break over so yeah that's it so that was kind of the news i'm meeting his family next week which is like a little nerve-wracking it's actually kind of a big deal for him because he said he's never brought a girl home and it's obviously a big deal for me so it's exciting guys but um i'll i'll obviously like keep you in the loop then like now that i feel like announced it and shared it like obviously now you know who he is you know and i don't have to be like i don't know i just felt so weird before because i would like tag him but it's like people have no idea who this person is so it was very weird for me so i'm glad like i just let you guys know so now y'all do know and y'all can like keep up with the stories and keep up with my life yeah and then after so it's actually funny because i'll be there a week i come back december 3rd and he actually gets here on december 5th because we're gonna go to the jonas brothers concert so i'm super excited about that and oh, oh my god like oh, i'm so excited but he actually only i think he only flew in that weekend just so we could go to the jonas brothers concert so that's like honestly how like sweet and nice he is it's gonna be really fun and it'll kind of be towards like the last days of me being here in dallas because i leave to mexico city around the 15th and after that i'll be gone for a few weeks yeah so that's where we're at and obviously i think someone was asking like how do you make a long distance relationship work and maybe that's like just like a separate video but for now that's kind of just you know the deets of that honestly that's it obviously like later on maybe i can go into details of like q a's or just details details but this is kind of just like an overview of how it all happened and what's been going on so i wouldn't call this a life update because y'all have a million life updates because i feel like my life changes constantly but yeah that's pretty much it so 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new about me and that's it. Sorry I was gone for three weeks. It's been super crazy. Glad I could actually like finally have time to like film a video. And actually Vlogmas is coming up so be on the lookout for that because that's going to be tons of fun and I'm going to be doing lots of giveaways. So stay tuned for Vlogmas. I filmed some stuff in LA and just like snippets here and there will all be in my vlogs. So actually maybe i'll vlog over thanksgiving break um with darren maybe let me know um yeah that's it guys all right yeah so that's it i'll see you guys next time